Hello everyone, I'm Saurabh Bharti and you are watching Beamup channel and we were preparing our project and we have already completed four parts of it and today it is going to be the last class on that project that is C Angular House. So let's get started with our project and in today's video I'm just going to do the interior designing in this. So for interior designing I'm not going to do much things, I'm just going to apply a few things and then we are we will be done with our project so as you can see that we have created here three types of ground floor so yes just select the outer element select all and you can and double edge click double edge on your keyboard to hide everything then again first of all select any of the element then press s a on your keyboard to select all and then double edge to hide select all double edge to hide S A to select all, double S to hide, and now you will see that everything has been hidden. After that, we can also hide this type of thing. So you can just press double H on your keyboard, or you can do one more thing that is hide in view category. But if you do this, there will be one more problem created. That is, if you want want to put some of the uh, Enscape asset elements, then it will be not visible in our project. So I think we should not do that. So what else is left yes so first of all okay before starting this asset library file just, just let me cancel it so i have few of the projects uh, in this one i think where is that rabbit 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 okay first of all we have to change some doors so i have this number of doors that is five to six number of doors you will find uh, this doors in the link in the description below so don't worry about that so first of all let me change all the doors that were not properly visible in our project so i have just selected everything just select this and instead of this one just drag and drop the door that you want to put in, in this project so i would like to put this one and then let let it just load it and then select all these types of door and go to the door and then as you can see this was the name of our door that is starter door and now you will see that our every door has been changed and if you want to change the color of this material let me see if i can change yes i can change and from the aluminium i would like to keep it to shares material or wood material so as you like so i'm keeping it as a shash and then just press ok and now you will see that Okay, it has not been changed yet. Again, let me go to the edit and copy it. Okay, this is the panel material. Let me apply it. And let me see if it has been changed or not. Yes. So as you can see that our door has been changed. So if you want to put a different door on different places, so you can check this out. So let me check this to what type of door it was and as you can see that this door is a bit on the inner side you can just put it on the outer side then select this one and if you want to keep this door you can keep it and if you want to change the window also uh, today i also have that option so i have a different kind of windows and as you can see this door is much larger in size so you can just go to the edit type duplicate it first and after duplicating it write it as we need this as 84 inches or you can do it as 72 inches and here we have 36 inches that is 3 feet so we can keep it at 2 feet 6 inches that is 30 inches okay so these are just the basic calculation we need to worry about that after that we have this as 6 feet in height and 2 feet 6 inches in width okay and now just press ok and i think that this one okay this one remains as it was so you can just change the size like this so if you want to change the size of this door also you can just select it and change it and if you want to move it you can just move it like this a little bit okay it is on the outer side just keep it on the inner side done and now that we have our doors uh, what else do we need in our project okay just go to the second floor i think first and then select your okay not this one this one i mean the first floor okay 
and we have something on this yes so this is where we need to do some changes to our project so i don't think the changes are required and only this few things are needed to be aligned as per our requirement okay and now i think everything is done if you want to change this too we can change it later on and let's get started with our interior design so at this portion this was uh from the images if you can see let me show you what there it was go to the c angular house then you can just select this one and this was our no, first floor and this was our ground floor and as you can see that we have a slab over here that is in three parts that is at one part we have a basin at, at this part we have our gas stove and uh, here uh, what it is okay i think it is something like oven type area okay so let me see if i have something of the kitchen family so where i have kept it yes in this folder where it families and kitchen let me open it and i think i would have some of the modular kitchen designs for example as you can see we have this this two of the kitchen fully designed so we can use that or you can just keep one by one uh, the element you can keep it one by one so that is also an option so for this project i'm going to use this shortcut so this is the shortest method what i can use in our project so where is that modular kitchen okay so these are the two of the kitchens what i'm going to do is i will just open it upgrade the model okay and i will copy the whole file to that uh, particular place so let me show you how we can do it and if you want to i can provide this kitchen link in the description or i will just provide the um, project link from where you can find everything so this is our kitchen and in kitchen we don't require this one and this back side okay let me undo it okay we did. actually mm -hmm. We have to edit this side a little bit. So just select this one and instead of 200 generic. Uh, what else I can do? Can I edit the family direct? Okay, let me just cut it. Go to the ground floor. Okay, this is our ground floor. Here we have our kitchen. Control V okay i've just copied it and then i'm trying to put, paste it over here and something like this and now we have our kitchen elements placed at this point and now what we need is we need two of the slabs so just go to the component model in place generic model or you can also select the wall and after selecting this just go to the extrusion select this one and make can extrusion something of this size from here and this size from here okay then select this one give it a size of one feet six inches and from here you can also give it a one foot six inches and okay it is much larger it has been provided as two feet six inches one foot six inches done and now that we have provided it what else you can do is you can just make a cut from here like this and something like this then tia for the trim and again you can trim it from here trim it from here and if you want to increase it like uh, i think one fit would be enough for it and from here also okay it is at one foot six inches we can keep it as keep it at two feet let me take the dimension of it first so this is one foot 11 inches we can just select this whole part and give it a dimension of two feet and now we are done and now we have two feet on the both side if you want to reduce it if you want to increase it now you know how to do it okay 
so now that we are done yeah okay for this extrusion part now we have to keep it as uh, start from 2 feet 6 inches and end at 2 feet 9 inches so we have a 3 inches platform okay and when you finish it and if you go to the 3d view and let me show you just to go to the section box and first of all hide this element so just select select this one select all level is to hide it select this one select all level is to hide it select this one select all <sighs> okay so now that we are in 3d view we just need to crop this section this section this section and this section and just go to the front view and crop it something like this and done and as you can see that we have this modular kitchen something like this if you want to change something if you would like to change something in this one you can do that for example i want to just increase uh, the size of it by a little bit so just go to the edit extrusion and keep it till here and keep it in here so there's no gap left in between and just finish it and now if i can show you to show you to you in 3d now we have it and here we can place it as a green marble color so actually i have green marble in my home and for this kitchen slab so you can just do the same thing just go to this rename it as one dot kitchen slab then go to this asset library here you can search for stone i think select this one after selecting this go to the tint and tint material just select something like this green and i don't think i required this one a little bit more like this okay let's just keep it oh i think no it has not been created i will have to create it once more so one dot kitchen slab okay asset library appearance and let me see if we have something else for the same thing so no we can use this one just go to the tint and give it a tint something like this apply it and if you want to give it a darker tint apply okay finish model and now you have something like this and if you want to make some changes to it you can do it so this is not exactly what i want what let it be and now that we have provided the kitchen slab now we have to provide a uh, sufficient area for our sink so let me first go to the families and check what type of sink i can apply in the kitchen so <clears throat> either we can apply the sink from here or from the rabbit itself so let me see okay i'm going to apply this uh, double sink just i'm dragging and dropping it you can also load it directly in your project mm -hmm. keep it somewhere here and press escape and now as you can see this part will overlap and right now it is not showing the overlap section but when you will render it it will show you as a overlap so what we need to do is we just need to select this part go to the edit extrusion select this rectangle or you can just select this pick lines and just pick this lines like this the outer lines actually okay uh, i'm selecting right now the inner lines but now i will select the outer lines and i will delete the inner lines so just select and delete select and delete tr for the trim trim this section okay we cannot do it like this so you can use the fillet option from this portion to this portion and something like this then trim it or what else you can do is you can just pick this line also so just go to the pick lines pick this line go to the pick line pick this line 
go to the pick line and pick this line and finish and try to just finish it and now we have something like this without any overlap okay there's some problem uh cut me an instance okay so i think we don't need to make a cut over this place with this element i think because it is making the cut itself i think so that is why it is giving us an error and over this place we need to keep something as a cabinet or you can keep okay let me see what else we can keep over there oven yes i told you before so oven now you can also provide this material i mean this library file so where is our oven this is our oven just to put to grab it and this is a shortcut how we can apply it and as you can see i cannot apply it from here and somewhere it has been placed already so i don't know where it has been placed so let me just go to the component once again and component first of all we just open the ground level again go to the component and now you will have it just place it somewhere over here and then go to the 3d view and as you can see it has been placed at this place so just give it an elevation of 2 feet 9 inches because our slab height is 2 feet 9 inches done and now that we have provided this do we have our refrigerator yes i think so it is there no we don't have refrigerator okay we have it at this place and as you can see this is a blank refrigerator so now that kitchen is done you can if you want to apply some different material on the ground of uh, this i mean the floor of this uh, kitchen you can just go to this create parts okay then divide parts go to the top view edit sketch and now you can just divide this floor part okay so create a rectangle something like this and then put a line at this place that is our kitchen div divided part keep it till here tr for the trim trim it from here to here and then delete this part i think yes we do require to delete that part for that you can just sl done select this delete this tr for the trim and just trim it so for this section we have divided it you can divide every room of this one so you can just select this part this part this part this part this part and this part and then trim it out just trim this section then trim this section pick this line and if you are not able to see this let me activate the hidden line okay and pick this line then trim it trim it from here to here trim it from here to here and now we are done then again go to pick lines select it select this select this this is our toilet remember that and as you can see it is giving us an error of um, i think it was giving us an error of overlapping so like this you can just pick this line select this and just divide this part so for this bedroom also we need to do some changes to it as you can see again it is giving us an overlap error so don't have to, have to worry about this you just need to trim this line trim this line trim this and now we are done with this part then you can also do the same thing on this parts again we are getting an error okay and here we need to do one more thing that is just make a line nearby this section okay and then trim this with this line 
pick lines press escape trim and now we are done with this part also after that we need to do the same thing at this place trim it trim this trim this tr trim trim done now that we are done with this all parts you can also provide a different material in your this living area or whatever you can say hall and i don't remember so just make it something like this and at this place we have to do a minor change okay just take it till here and it will give us an error of overlapping okay so you can just delete this one pick line and give it an offset of two inches first and you can just make it something like this and trim this part from here to here and then you can just take a line from this place or you can just select just select this part then trim this one okay make a line from this part to this part then trim it from this part to trim it from this part to this part and trim it from here to here then sl to split it trim it and delete the extra part and now you can just take it closer to this one something like this and now we are done with uh, all of this part and again we have to make a few more changes as you can see it is again giving us an overlapping warning overlap warning okay and let's just consider this and trim it so this is all we need for this parts And again, just trim this section, pick line, pick this line, trim it. So, if you have anywhere as an error, just try to watch it out that where you have not uh, trimmed that portion correctly. Okay. Because if you do not trim it right, it will give you an error. So, as you can see, I just kept it beside it, this one. But these are not overlapping and if you want to do the same thing on the outer side so we can do this thing on the outer side also so by this we can give it a different flow to every part of this um, i mean flow okay and i will just do this on the ground floor only not on the top floor or the first floor you can say uh, because i don't want to it will take much more time and i think i have just one hour so we don't need to do this thing on this part actually so you can just trim this one out and just see if you have any extended part left or anything left just try to finish and, and as you can see it has just finished it without giving any error and now as you can see that it is not showing the parts so just as you can see you just click outside of this one and then search for parts visibility and in this so you can go for so parts so original or so both so i'm going with so both or maybe so parts if i go to 3d view and i have made this changes to the which floor I think I have made these changes to this one that is on the ground floor okay okay I made the changes I'm not able to select the parts that I have created let me see okay there's one more problem that is i have just 
I just did a wrong thing that is uh, if you can see that we have this flow over here and I created all these things to the this uh, ground floor so what we can do over here is let me see if I can just delete it and increase the size of this one maybe let me see will I get an error I go to the hidden line and I can check it out. So let me go to the east view first and let me select all double to hide it. Select all double to hide it, or you can just hide it in category map. And this is our floor. Let me go to the other view, hide in view, category south view hide in view category so this is our front view this is our section and this is our elevation ground floor and on the ground floor only i have made that this one so i think i should keep it no I cannot keep it yes but what else we can do is we can just uh, copy it select it copy it cancel I cannot even copy it but if I will make the changes to it it will not reflect directly it will reflect you to the ground floor and Everything here has started from the okay. It is I've done changes to the ground floor and it will reflect to this ground floor only. But I I had to do the same thing to the this this is the road level okay. So everything uh, will be visible to the road level. But I wanted to make changes to this ground floor. So now I cannot do anything about that. So let me check i'm just undoing it everything not everything just getting back my flow and this is my flow look at the edit boundary and again we have to do the same thing over and over again that is one of the problems so we need to solve it if i can copy it it would have made easier for us to work on but i cannot do that okay let me just show you the one part of it so just go to this create and i will just you know, divide the part of this kitchen area so uh, if i think it will take a much more longer time just select this one make this one something like this and do the same thing over here it is cage you can do the same thing over here yes, so i'm just change, trying to change the one or two room okay then trim it trim it out trim this section trim it from here to here and then trim it trim it down and one more trim it from here and we are done so i'm just going to change this two parts and then you will know how to change it so just select this one i mean this part and uh, we have uh, this uh, as a division in this and if you go here and see that there's one option that is material by original so just untick this and you can make a new material so you can make a create new material and rename it as one dot kitchen floor and in kitchen what type of floor is used okay so you can either uh, give it a where is that stone and you can use this square stone or anything else you can go to the flooring you can use the wood flooring so i'm just selecting this beach wood okay i know that this is not right but this is how we can change right now so 
all the area except this one has been uh, remained same and this area has been changed to this beachwood material and here also if you want to make some changes just go to this material by region select this one floor instead of this just create a new material and rename it as one dot bedroom floor and at this place i would like to give it a different material just go to this appearance and after selecting the appearance just go to the flooring and in flooring you can just select any one of this so i'm just selecting this flooring and if you want to uh, increase the pump or the reflectance for pump i have this image but i cannot increase the ratio of it no problem uh, if you want to increase the reflectance of it or decrease the reflectance of it, uh, you can do it from here, apply it and now we have finished. So these two parts has been changed so you can do uh, the changes accordingly and I did try to do, do it but there's one, one problem that you know. That is why I'm just keeping it till here. After this we have to add some bedroom over here so just go to the Enscape Asset Library and we have other option that is from this library file if i can get it so photo family there are bits okay just go to extra large and now we have some this kind of bits over here if you can see i have some more things over here so no, i would not like to use this ones maybe i will use this bit or this okay these are the bits okay i will use this one in one of the rooms and you can keep it anywhere so i'm just putting it in the middle of it and now that i have this bed over here there's one more bedroom i have this place so for this bedroom i will just attach a different bed to it i mean i will add a different bed to it that is this one and okay i don't need to provide this family to you also that is why i have to copy it Copy this one and this one to the desktop so that I can add it to the project files. Okay, and I have on this kinds of beds so I can use it on the different floors. After that, we can also add this screen or you can say mirror. So let me add this mirror. I will add this mirror on this side and on this side and after this let me see what else i have as a family over here uh, i'm searching for, so for some wardrobe so let me see if i have something as a cabinet or wardrobe does that mix Yes, I do have something as a wardrobe over here. So as you can see, there are a lot more family than I require for this project or any of the project. This is a closet and I think I will copy it. And then. So let me try to put this closet over here and again just rotate it from this place to this place something like this if i can okay just rotate it once again from undo it let me see why i'm taking it in the right direction yes so again go to rotate select this rotation, so 
this okay there's one more mistake that i'm doing that is select then place and then select it from here to here and then rotate it something like this you can move it with the help of your keyboard again select this rotate it from this place to this place okay select rotate place and then you can rotate it from this point to this point and something like this and now we are done so this is our wardrobe at this place you can just select the same wardrobe with this place also i mean you can just uh, click on create similar and then you can put your water over here and now you're done and as you can see we have our water over here our bed over here you can just move your bed a little bit more and if you think that this is coming in between you can just delete one of the bed part and then what else do we require in our room just go to the top view once again go to the file so in this project i'm trying to use everything from the revit architecture family okay not like before now from the enscape i will also use the enscape at few parts so enscape is very necessary because it provides the asset library very easily okay then after wardrobe let me see what i can apply from the office parts so chair i will apply from the enscape only and i can also use some of the desk part from this okay let me try to put this one i think this one copy it okay and if you don't know how to place the components uh, directly you can just go to the insert and then you can load family so let me show you that option also let me put it on this side okay and you can just go to the architecture go to the component and then you can just load this family wherever you have kept it so for me it is somewhere here Revit families and now i have this new kind of components so if i can just select any one out of this and then i can just put it in our project then i need some kind of sofa just enlarge it not this much Okay, let me make it a little bit smaller and then let me select one of the sofa family and just open it and now you can directly load it like this and this is our window side okay so I can put a sofa over here and I think I can also put a table at this place so just select search table and i think i need something smaller i think this round table will work for me on this place and then we need to provide a laptop or desktop so go to the accessories or you can directly search for laptop yes and provide it somewhere here in the middle of this desk and as you can see that this laptop is not visible to us but it is placed on the downside so i just and double okay first of all what i did is let me press h on my keyboard as you can see i've just selected this part and press double h on my keyboard that is to hide this one and you can again do the same thing okay i don't have to edit this part no i don't want to select just uh, click once on this and double h uh, click double h on your keyboard and then you can give it an elevation of two feet done and then press hr again 
and now as you can see that uh, at two feet also it is not visible so you can give it an offset of two feet six inches i think and at two feet six inches yes it works so our this room is done then we have to do some designing to our bathroom so in bathroom section also let me divide this part edit division edit sketch give it a rectangular shape from this place to this place and again you can just give it a rectangular shape from this place to this place and then finish it give it a bathroom material so for bathroom material go to material and just untick this one go to the floor and after going to the floor just make a new material and here rename it as one dot bathroom floor so in bathroom we need tiles and what type of tiles to be required at this place so we just go to the let me check the finish if i okay flooring and for the bathroom flooring you can use this maple rosewood or mosaic do we have anything else for the marble or tiles material so i'm just taking this mosaic and if you want to increase the size of it so right now it is at one feet eight inches uh, you can keep it as three feet and then it will scale it uh, itself then uh, go to the relief pattern okay we don't have a relief pattern for this one just keep it finish bumps let me check yes we have finish bumps so just go to the finish bumps and give it the same uh, scaling there is three feet three feet on both side and done okay and now just select this boot okay i cannot do that Select this one, material by original, select this and give it bathroom floor. Okay, then what else do we need? Uh, we need to give a tile material on this uh, sides of the wall. So for that, go to the architecture, go to the wall and we have to make one new wall. Uh, so just select any of this four inches or 4.5 inches wall. Okay, we have to make it as a new material. So I'm selecting this five inches wall, go to edit, duplicate and write it as uh one inches bathroom wall and then go to edit type and give it a thickness of one inches and then go to the category then make a new material and new material just to rename it as one dot bathroom wall done and then go to the asset library and we will select something of the blue color so just go to the flooring I think no go to the tiles or the stucco stone okay this are uh, not required wall wall I'm particularly searching for one of the walls that I always use in the bathroom Today I cannot find it. This name was. I don't remember. It was in the tile actually. Okay, let me search for the tile. And in tile, I can get this many. Okay, let me go to the ceramic. I will find it there, I think. Go to the ceramic. No not this one and this one yes yes this is what i required so i can either go for the blue one or black one so for this one i'm going for the black and here also you can change the size of it so right now it is at two feet four inches i will just double the size of it that is okay i will keep it at five feet five foot by five feet and again go to the relief pump and here also you can do the same five feet by Five feet, not five inches. Five feet by five foot done, and you can increase the amount of it like this. Apply it, apply it, apply it, and after applying it, just go to the first floor, select wall, and select this wall that you have created, and 
remember to create this wall at ground floor till first floor and give it a top offset of minus three feet that is our wall will create a reset constants okay from the ground level uh, from the from the ground level to the first floor and our top constraint top offset is minus three feet so that we can create our wall at okay and before that just select this one and wall face interior or exterior you can select so and as you can see it is just taking the middle ground so again you have to make it from here and it will be not visible in our project as you can see double up the walls put it from this side to this side and there's one more problem that i will tell you afterwards so again do the same thing at in wall just select this and put it as a rectangle and now we have created this one now if you go to 3d you will find that there's our wall okay i'm creating everything is on the first floor and this is our ground floor there's some more confusions okay this is our ground floor actually and whatever i've created here the first floor so let me undo it go to the ground floor wall rectangle and as you can see it is making the wall on the outer side just press the space on your keyboard and it will make it on the inner side and now it is visible so the same thing over here and then what i told you there will be a problem so let me see it is fine and that problem is this that is our door uh, is just covered with this one inches wall so for this one first of all just go to the top and then remember that i have activated the section view and in section view just do it something like this and then go to the right view select your wall select your wall then edit profile and then just take a rectangle from this place to this place but it will overlap so just undo it okay so oh, just make a rectangle from the starting of the door or you can make it something like this till this place let me show you what i have done and then split the middle part okay just split this then trim it so trim it something like this and trim it from here to here and now everything is gone and we have one wall over here and if i can show it to you in 3d this is how our wall looks at this place and for this place also we have to do the same thing go to the top and remember your section from where you have to cut the door so at this place i have to do the same changes and as you can see this part is not visible so again go to the top view and where is that okay go to the top select this one and done after this go to the front view select this wall again front view edit profile make a rectangle and just make this rectangle from this place and let me show you to hidden line format and from this place to this place okay and then sl to split this part then tr to trim and in this place where do we need to trim it okay i can just make a line something from here then trim this portion to this i think and uh, delete this part then trim this part from here to here and now we are done just select this and delete this and finish it and there's some problem that is 
that is overlapping okay so we also have to see that it doesn't overlap anywhere so select this make it smaller and now i think it is fine unjoint element and now our wall is i mean this door is visible but i have to make it something on this side okay and again go to the wall and make some changes to it so just go to the front wall edit remove constraint and done okay so now we have finished with this parts then we have to do a few more things so for this i'm not going to change the floor of it what we can do here is we can just apply and just keep some sofa over here again let me go to sofa select one of the sofa family this one or this one or the black one i don't need to worry about the uh, this looks so bad like that kind of mindset don't be worried uh, when you will render it it will look good and it and by any means it doesn't look good then you can always use your uh, escape library remember that so i have just chosen three to four sofa family i'm just going to keep it as so far paste it okay go to the rabbit we can load it one by one or you can just do the thing that i'm doing like this i'll just drag and drop every model and then i'll try to position it in our project so let me see what is the time so it has already been 52 minutes and we are still on the ground floor that is how hard interior designing is and we have not made anything by our own in this project and still it feels like we have been doing it for a very long time okay then again so like this okay not this car with the component and not this one come component where is our sofa so i cannot find the sofa family at this place why i cannot find it I just try to load it and it will be somewhere on the downside of it so it is not visible let's just keep it the way it is right now if you want try if you want to get something from here what you can do is just delete this one again go to the asset library and in this folder remember that you will get this folder in the description and this will take some time to load i think yes Right, good. Again, I create this model. Go to the component. Okay, I cannot find it. <sighs> okay, I can either load it or just go to the escape and go to the asset library and use this shortest method so far. Select any one out of it. So I'm just going to select this so far. Place it over here, done. Then again. Okay, we need to put a wardrobe over here. Let me see if I have a wardrobe family. Not wardrobe, I mean the TV unit. Okay, so let me see. Uh, the table, one toilet, mix component, maybe in this one. I can find some.
Okay, I cannot find a TV in it again. I will use the Enscape only. TV unit. Yes, something like this. Put it over this place, then again go to the this and search for TV. You can just take any one out of it. So I'm just selecting this one and giving it a height offset of one feet. Okay. And give it an uh, select this, give it an elevation of one feet six inches. Done after giving it an elevation, just move it like this and it still you know, find that it is in the inner side of it give it an offset of two feet maybe that is fine after this we can provide a mat at this place so just go to this one where is that okay cancel it just go to the accessories we will find some of the mat where is that mat 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 Yes, we can. Select this mat. And then put it somewhere here. Then again, press escape. Then we need to put a table at that place. Search for table. Press enter. Okay, we can go to furniture and then here you can find some table. Okay, we can actually add a dining table here at this place. Okay, so I'm just removing this, move it something like this, and let me see. Yes, I do have one of the dining, I mean, kitchen family, or you can say the dining room family. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Families, no, not at this one. Architecture, families, 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 families. No. Let me search for the time. I don't have it here. Revit family is not at this one to be used. Yes, in this one, I think I kept one of the families for the dining room. Family. Don't know. Kitchen may be in this one. No, not in this one. Project images, sliding origins, dining. Yes, I think in this one I have something. Yes, this one I do require it. So, what I did just use the shortest method. So, I just put a dining over here. Then, okay, what else is required? So whatever is required you can put it then we needed something in the toilet then basin so we just go to the next component and here you can search for toilet maybe toilet and remember whatever family i'm using i'm going to provide it to you so you don't have to worry about searching this uh, one by one so I think I need this as a basin, then this is a cupboard, or this one maybe, then this one is a window. And what else is required? Bathtub. Let me see if I have a bathtub family in this one. 
Să vedem zavărul 4, da. As you can see, there are only the sink family and the commod families. So I cannot find any of the part of. No, the part of family is not available, so you can either download it. On the other place send it to PC we already have chosen our basing so just copy it paste it and try to load it one by one so first of all this And I want to keep it on this side. Then I need a basing that is this one. Okay, I just put basing over here. And for this basing, there's one more problem that is you have to select this and give it a height offset of uh, two feet six inches. And now it will be visible, yes. Then we have to provide a bathtub path tub. No. So go to exercise, go to the bathroom, and here you will find a bathtub. You can also use a mirror. So I'm just going to use this mirror. Okay, I'm trying to put this mirror somewhere over here so that it could be visible to us. Then select it, give it a height offset of this was two feet six inches. So you can give it a height offset of three feet and then move it. Either you can move it something like this, or you can just keep it somewhere here with the basing. Okay, and then we have this area left, so you can either design something okay first let me give you the shower one so just provide the shower head then select this one and give it a height offset of seven feet done after giving it a height offset of seven feet you can just go to the asset library here you will find one of the bathtubs so this is our bathtub and let me try to put it somewhere So bathtub of this one is a little bit larger as for our bathroom, so we cannot use it. You can give it a bucket, then you can use this faucet. Just put your faucet over here and then give it a height offset of uh, I think one feet six inches would be enough for this faucet because it uh, also has a length of two feet I think something of that type so let me see the timing first and it is already one hour has reached one hour mark so select this faucet give it a height offset of one feet done and now that we are done with our bathroom part you can do the same thing on this part also and what else we can put in our, put in our bathroom so is there an hanger no even foot mat you can use it on this room side So at this place you can use this foot map then we have a towel stack towel rack okay then one thing you can do is you can go to the asset library just uh, remove this bathroom and then go to that okay you can just make some slab over here so that could be made by Let me see. 
go to the architecture go to the component model place save project always remember that then here what we need to do is first of all select this part yes we are already in our section view just go to this section go to the left view and in left view we are going to make something like this one two and three of the cabinet type or you can say the holder type of thing just go to generic model here and you can go to the extrusion set plane pick a plane and you can draw any type of this holder you can say so i'm just making it something like this and then i'm going to make it something smaller that is off two inches done so i am going to copy it copy it from this place to this place and let me make it a bit smaller like this finish it and then go to the top view select this if you want to make it okay i can give it a size of one foot okay done so one foot is i think much larger so i will keep it at eight inches and go to the edit extrusion once again go to the left view and make it a little bit larger something like this finish it and now that you have finished it you can also make it a little bit thinner so right now it is two inches i am going to keep it at one inches for this one and for this one also so let this give it a size of one inches done finish it now we are finished and then we have to apply a material so just go to the material and give it a material of this floor okay and no it doesn't look good over here so let me check if i have made something else i think there is a shash wood will stand okay i will keep it finish it and now at this place just go to the ground level and if you can see it yes that is visible just go to this level and now you can go to the accessories go to the bathroom and here you can just put some of these things like this folded toggle first put everything and then give everything the uh, height okay i'll just put one of the toggle then you can go for the cream tube you can go for the soap dispenser then you can go for the soap tray then you can go for this toggle stack so toggle stack is much larger for this place so i'm not going to use it and what else do we have you can just use the toilet paper on that side of your toilet where's commode is so at this place you can just put it and give it a height offset of one feet one feet done and then you can just hide this part select these things select this select this select this and then okay door has also been selected just you know select this door double s to hide it click this click this and click this one give it an offset of five feet done now go to 3d view and as you can see it is still floating in the air so give it a four feet six inches maybe okay this is not fine, 10 inches, and I 
think this requires a little bit less that is nine inches and i think it will work yes so nine and a half nine one by two so we have designed our path through now that we have done our bathroom part you can do the same thing over select these things select this select this select your mirror and then select this draw axis and make it from the middle of it and you will see that we have made something like this and there's one more thing that you can do is just go to the wall okay and after going to the wall uh, you can select cut in wall so i'm just selecting this cut in wall one and then you can make a separation for this bathroom and here you can make it a little bit smaller from this side also and from this side also and you can move it like this you can move this part also from here to here again go to the 3d view this wall is visible over here and uh, we need to do one more thing we have to reduce the size of this one actually go to the edit family select this one reduce the size of it something like this select this reduce the size of it something like this so and then go to the left part select these things okay first of all finish this select these things select this select this select this remove it with the help of your keyboard done and now we have something like this so we have to do one more thing over here just put it something like this then select this one select this move it not move it increase the size of it okay so just increase the size of it like this and decrease the size of this one by a little bit okay done after that go to the millions million and you can just provide a million over here just go to 3d view and here you can find the millions yes again go to the millions select this select this undo it give it a million provide a million over here also and as you can see we cannot provide on the top part so for the top part just go to the left view and increase the size of this wall and you don't require it till this place so we can reduce the size of it and give it an offset of minus two feet okay and now we have provided a million on the top of it and now i think we are done yes and there's one more thing that is providing a door to this part so this will act as a door so select this one i mean this glazing panel just press tab on your keyboard you will select this glaze panel and in glaze panel instead of this you can just apply a door so we have this double door and i think it looks no it doesn't look good again go to the wall cut in wall and i think it is a single wall so i am going to keep it at uh, this wall then go to the edit family and i will just edit this outer uh, part of it so just select this and go to okay i cannot change it from here let me change it from direct directly from the already existing version select this go to edit type and as you can see we have this aluminium part you can just select this aluminium black and now i think it will change to the black color and this is what i want for our project and now it is done so this is how some of the interior part has been done so i do a little bit interior in every project so till here i will just keep it and for the first floor i'm not going to do it you can do it by yourself and you can also take the reference from my older projects
so you know how to do it and at this portion also we could do the same thing so just let me see select this one select the whole select this whole part yes okay this is a cutting panel and uh, i think i should change the this is type of 2.5 by 5 million so just go to the millions 2.5 by 5 go to edit type then here just go to the aluminium and in aluminium you can select this black aluminium and okay and now we are done so after this now that we are done with this parts let me just unhide everything that uh, i hide it in my project so just open the whole area okay then we can just click this button and here you will find every hidden item where is our tree I, I cannot find the trees I get put the quiz okay let me go to the ground level i don't know what trees are not being shown let me just remove this section box yes now it is visible okay and now that it is everything is visible just go to the end scale go to the this start rendering it and you will see the render of it and then i will finish this section so it is already in one hour 16 minutes so four to five minutes more just go to and skip it will take some time to load and always remember to save the project so i don't remember i saved it on it so I press the control and W key to just reach to this place and yes one more thing is left that is the lighting part so we will do that right now this is our room this is our dining this is our TV there this is our kitchen area as you can see I know it doesn't look so good but it is fine for our project right now so we have to do the lighting part actually so i will also do that right now and here the bathroom door is not fine okay so we need to change this and in this room this is the best part i think yes it looks good from this side but is it the wardrobe from here well, we have just we need to change the orientation no just let it be so we have to put lights go to the ground level go to this light family where is our light family i have some of the light family over here where is that rabbit 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 families light and here we have so many lights being object lighting pendant one then emergency light maybe no not this one yes this one indoor lighting indoor ceiling yes we have not done the ceiling part also so you can just prefer my older videos you will find it there so i just mm, chose three to four types of lighting and let me put it one by one just pause this live update and make it smaller and put the light over here try to load it
one of the light family over here, one of the light family at this place, one of the light family over this place, and one of the light family at this place. I think we do require one on the, this side, then one on this side, then one on this side, one on this side, and then just select any one of it, out of it and give it an okay just select all hide in view no we can okay we can do that hide in view category everything is hidden just go to the section box again make it smaller go to the ground floor select the light family over here it is not visible in this view Okay, if it is not visible, you can do one more thing. Just make it something like this and then find your light family anywhere in the project. Okay, it is still not visible. Okay, let me put one. Okay, I saw that light actually. Yes, this one. So just select it and press SA on your keyboard and then give it a height offset of 9 feet. And now every bulb will be placed at 9 feet. Then go to the first floor again. CS. Okay, we already have selected this family. So just go to the component and place on the vertical face. Select it, give it an okay. Again, just go to the component one here, 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 then one at this side, one at this side, one on the outer side, one on the inner side and one on this wall one on this wall and one on this wall and maybe one over here then just select any one out of it select all and then give it a height offset of elevation from 9 feet done okay now we have given it an elevation there's one more thing there are many things left actually so i just forgot that that i had to made a window in the front part of it over here so for this just select your wall go to edit profile and then take a line make a line from this place to here then from this place to this place let me see the image first okay it is completely over here you can just select this line trim it trim from here to here you can also activate the hidden line and then you can make it something like this and then trim it from here to here and now we are done if you think that this is this doesn't look good let me see it comes to this place okay and then finish it and over here if you want to provide a glass wall for that first of all hide the this part then again go to the wall Go to the cutting wall. Wall where is our cutting wall? Okay, I cannot provide a wall like this. We have to go to the first floor, then go to the wall, then again cutting wall. We already have cutting wall, and I have to provide it over this place. Okay, go to the 3D view, and let me see where is that cutting wall placed. So 
No, not this one. Where is that curtain wall? Undo it. Double for the wall. Make a wall from here to here. And then select this wall. And this is from the top constraint. Base constraint is first and top constraint is second floor. Yes, now I can find it here select this go to the front view go to the edit type select this line from here and from here then trim it out trim this one this one this one this one this one and again delete this tr for the trim and trim it from here to here finish it and as you can see there's one more overlapping line just select this and there's one more line Okay, now we are done. We have to provide millions. Just select millions, millions, and millions. And if you want to provide the smaller millions, you can just undo it. Go to the millions, and I think there will be one in general millions. Here's this one. And now, if you go to 3D and press HR on your keyboard. And remove the section box okay and then go to reveal hidden items realistic view and hide in view category done so now we are done with our project just go to resume live update and now let me see that what have we done with our project actually So this is our night rendering and what is this? I thought this is some kind of wardrobe but it doesn't look something like that. Let me see on the other side of it. No. So let me delete it. Go to the uh, ground floor. Okay. Select this one and select this other one. Delete it. Okay. And then go to the landscape and now let me show you what we have done with our project. So this is how our night rendering looks, but there's one caveat that is we have not provided the light on the outer side. So for that also we have to work on it a little bit. So let me see if I can find that to be used to be used where is that sketchup rabbit to be used and rabbit light 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 families no not in this one i had one of the family that i always use in my project for the outer lighting Kitchen family light, yes, this one. Let me activate the extra large size and no. Okay, and all these ones, light families, yes, I think in this one I will get that one. Yes, so these are the families that I always use. Control B. First of all, let me select this. Load into our project and where is that? So I'm just using the shortcut that is drag and drop, and you can just insert it always. And then now that I have this family, I will put one on this side, one on the back side of it. Okay, it is actually live rendering it, so I uh, have to just pause the live rendering. Yes, pause it. Go to the architecture, go to the component. Oof. So again, the video is not responding.
so I just saved my project till here. Oof. Let me see. Okay, I can just reduce the artificial lighting from this place, atmosphere, artificial light brightness, just reduce it. Or you can increase it by a little. Uh, yes, done. Okay, let me see if I can put the light on the different side of it. Oof. It is creating so much problem for us. Okay, I will put one on this side actually. Done. Just do it as fast as you can, rub it. Then one on top, on the side, on the back, on this OTS area, on this OTS area, and then on this particular side. And now we are done. So we we'll just put the and let me see on the back side of it. Okay, actually I have paused it. Let's resume the landscape design like I did. And if you go to landscape, now you can find your light over here. I think so. It should be visible. No, it is not. It is put in the air. Okay, let me see. Resume, yes, now it will work. And as you can see, the lighting has been increased. And on this part, also, we require the same lighting. Go to architecture, go to the component, and you can provide this light over here and over here. And now, yes now everything is visible so as you can see this is our house rendering with the lights this is our small window from where we can just see this inner side of uh, our rooms then you can just go to this room here you can see that there's one of the open area from this place as you can see this door we have to change it go to the ground floor select this same door select all door and change it to change it to change it to the three foot door okay and move it and let me see if something has changed no nothing has changed so again go to this select this door and I have uploaded one more door that is this Tata door. So just select this type of door that we have used here. Where is else door? Have I used yes this door select all go to this Tata door and just put this door over there. Just go to the rabbit once again and now you can see it. So this is our kitchen area and now in the night rending also. This area looks so good. Oof. Maybe. So actually my system is not responding properly right now. So as you can see this dining room, this looks so good and this TV area I have to just change the orientation of that TV so now it is visible and you can just decrease the size of this TV then I mean the height of that TV so here we have our working area here we have our sitting area here we have our bedroom and on this side we have our wardrobe then these are the lights and I know that lights could have been changed so you can change it yourself after that we have to make some changes to our stair i have not done yet 
so you can do it by yourself just change the material of your uh, stairs or I can do it let me see so this is how our house looks and you can do the different changes that is required as per yourself your needs and as you can see and let me take some rendering out of it so let me change the sun direction for that we have the shortcut which is shift u okay shift u is for changing the daytime control u to change the direction of sun and as you can see this is how our project looks from the front let me remove this car from this part of it so i can just move it over here and now if you go to the 3d you can see it and if you want to take the screenshot just you can press six plus f11 on your keyboard or you can go here press this go to the desktop and this is our rendering view of the front part and it will take a little bit of time and let me show you the bathroom once again because we have worked on our own bathroom yes so this is how our bathroom looks this is a bucket and okay this is not this one we have worked on the this one bathroom actually so as you can see you can just directly enter from this place to this area and here we have our hanging toilet we have our basin and as you can see this door is not working properly at this place you just go to where is that door okay just keep it and you can change it by yourself so here i have to change the stair actually i told you go to edit stair select this stair edit type go to the go to the straight material and in trade material you can select wooden material so i will go for this wood stain material okay and for the riser i'm just uh, removing the riser from this stair and cast width is open you can just remove the cast width and then we have over here where's that just go to this run type and here you can remove the riser okay and okay and okay and after that finish it go to the 3d view and 3d view there's one more change required so right now if i can show you how our stair looks where is our stair yes now you can see your stair this is how it looks if you want to remove the railing on the sides of it just go to the ground floor once again select the outer railing this one delete it now that we have removed our railing and if you can see it this is how it looks so we have removed the riser this is our stair part and uh, at this place you need to put one of the <coughs> just a second mm. so just go to the first floor okay where is our first floor this one and where is our stair yes at this place here you can just go to the railing 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 Yes, this one and put one of the railing from this place till this place finish it go to 3d rendering remove this and now you can see that railing has been attached like this you can do a better work and then 
this is how our project looks in the day and the night rendering in the evening rendering so this were the things that we required for this project and this project is done after this we are going okay for next class i need your suggestion if any one of you can write in the comments below that if you want the revit structure in the tutorial so i can make it actually i was searching for the revit structure tutorial and, and i found that there was none of uh, revit structure tutorial that has fully explained everything in a one project or one video so i can just make the structure part of this uh, as i make this architecture part so if any one of you uh, is interested you can just pin down in the comment below and if uh, two or three of you would be interested i will just make that uh, video possible and as you can see that the here the flooring looks good and the flooring on the outer part and the inner part of it is different and this is how we make this and let me just take one more view from the outer side and then let us just finish this tutorial okay so remember that you will get this uh, file in the description for your reference purpose and let me end this session thank you for watching and we have completed our seventh project and for the eighth project even if we, any one of you will come in down that we should start the structure part i will just start at the revit structure so thank you for watching and i'm ending this session right now